The big award show is tonight in New York City, the Voice Arts Awards. I am nominated for two different categories. We're going to get in the water right away so we can get to that. Tom Kenny, the voice of SpongeBob SquarePants, is going to be there. Mark Hamill, Luke Skywalker, he's going to be there. And um, we've got an interesting way that we're going to be there. It's a black tie affair, so I've got a tie that I'll be surfing with just to be extra prepared. Let's get in the water and then but get it's to not the award. Yeah. What color is it? It's gray. Well, it's a tie. It, it counts. All right. <laughs> And there's a giant rock in front of you. Go to your right. There you go. Yep. The world is your oyster. So here we are at the uh, amazing location of this year's Voice Arts Award Show put on by Society of Voice Arts and Sciences. It's gonna be in our TV room because COVID. But two years ago when we went, it was one of the most amazing things I've ever attended. And it was the most dressed up you've ever been. I didn't even own a dress that would have been appropriate for uh, that kind of red carpet event. You had your hair done professionally. I did. And we took a limo, we took a 12 passenger limo, just the two of us up to Burbank. We went to the Warner Brothers Studios. I was nominated for one award. It was movie trailer, outstanding movie trailer voiceover of the year. And we met up with my friend, Tommy, who lived right around the corner from the, the studios, and we all went just kind of like to experience it. Like, we all went because, well, I had never been to a red carpet event, and I don't know if you had. No. Um, so it was more about like the experience, and yeah, he was nominated, but I don't know if we, I mean, I hoped that he would win, but um, I don't think we all thought it was like a shoe in or it definitely wasn't. I didn't expect it, it at all. I mean, I yeah. was in the category for movie trailers, which is like the hardest category, I, I think. Yeah. And we, so we sat at the back. The we, very back, on purpose. And then they call my name as the winner and I'm like, oh. <laughs> what, yeah, what, what it was very do? like, whoa. Yeah. And but, then we had a. Maggie had, had to count the stairs out as we walked down to the, to the, to the front. Where stage. The, yeah, the stage. And then there were stairs leading up to the stage, like right in the front. It wasn't kind of like a side entrance like you would normally see. So then I kind of had to like coach you on. Yeah, you like. I just had to make like a quick decision. I was like, I'm like, fine, I think, you know, like go, <laughs> you know. And then she bolted. Yeah. I got up on stage and Sigourney Weaver was a, uh, a recipient of an award. Rosario Dawson was there, but uh, one of the regular recipient girls just kind of handed me the trophy. And I'm standing there in front of all these people and it's like speech time. I'm like, okay. Yeah, no speech prepared. <laughs> yeah, I didn't. So I whipped something together talking about my whole story and ended up getting a big standing O at the yeah, end. Yeah, you did. And it was, it was pretty amazing. So this year, I'm nominated once again for Outstanding Movie Trailer of the Year for the film Unhinged, and I'm also nominated for Outstanding Television Promo of the Year for the uh, cartoon Archer, which everybody but Josh knows apparently. I know, even I've watched Archer. <laughs> <laughs> so right here in this, uh, in this room, we'll be firing it up, we're gonna watch the broadcast from New York. fancy from the waist up. Yeah, fancy <laughs> from the waist up, just like yep. Zoom meetings in 2020. Yep. We won't be seeing any famous people in person this year, but... Nope. Okay. I'm right here. <laughs> Man, yeah. my tie didn't make it while I was surfing. Oh, that looks terrible. Yeah, I don't think ties were meant for wearing while surfing, so I'm going to need a different tie. But you guys told me this one wasn't black for the black tie anyway, so we got to find something else. Yes, 
So right here. here's what I think are the odds. Maggie doesn't think that I'm gonna win the movie trailer, and I don't think that I'm gonna win the TV promos. So hi odds. Hi odds. Movie trailer. Best voiceover. They're moving that up to third. Is that the nominees are. Unhinged. Wow. Pete Gustin. You're in for two. Brahms, the boy yeah. two. Nikita Thor. Unhinged. I wasn't expecting PSA. this to be so. Pete Gustin. Uh oh. This. Not ready for this. Tell you who is the winner. Outstanding movie trailer, Pete Gustin. Yeah! Woo! Yeah. Yeah. Right in front of you, Super unexpected. Right, nice. <laughs> Hell yeah. Wow. This is the it's the PSA one. It's the longer one. Oh wow. Woo. That was the one I was sure I wasn't gonna win. I think my mom's trying to congratulate me. The first yeah. cut. She said congratulations from my mom. <laughs> yeah. Congrats, man. Oh, yeah. Amazing. I can't believe I won the movie trailer one. You made your mom proud. Outstanding <laughs> promo to be <laughs> the web. Best voiceover, the nominees. Banana, I'm up again! Metro Heroes. I think. Studios. Yeah. Yeah. This is the one I didn't think I was going to win. At all. Debbie Harada. Archer 1999. Pete Gustin. <laughs> That's five people, though. Yeah, I'm up again. No double rewards. Yeah. Yeah. Most people know about Archer. Yeah. And Don't the have voice art goes to for outstanding promo TV or best voiceover goes to Pete Gus. Yeah! <laughs> no way! Dude! Wow. No way! I won both that categories. That blows my mind. I was expecting holy shit. Oh for two this time. Wow. And I went two for two. Wow. I'm like tingly. I'm like tingly. I wasn't prepared for that. I had I had some stuff ready to go for the channel. Yeah. I did not have anything ready to go that I won both categories. I didn't. I didn't even bother filming that at all. I had nothing ready for that. I had no confidence in winning both of them. Holy crap. Who owned the voiceover industry? This guy. This guy. <laughs> Cheers. That's amazing. All right. Cheers. Thanks, banana. Oh. This is not just for the two wins that we had in the Voice Arts Awards, but I'm super excited to tell everybody we surpassed 10,000 subscribers on the Blind Surfer nice. channel. Woo! Yeah! We're at 10,138 subscribers at the moment I pop this thing right now! Yeah. Yeah. Woo! Yay! <laughs> Congratulations. Uh, Thank you, everyone. Yeah, congratulations. Now let's drink some crappy champagne. Right, no. <laughs> <laughs> I won two awards tonight. What do you think of that? Hello? Hello? No? She doesn't care. She's she probably the sweetest. Yeah, but the point is, she loves me either way. She would love me even if I lost. We were both gonna love you even if you lost. Okay. Do you want to go play with your partner or are you going to fall asleep? No, she, he's going to kill her. <laughs> <laughs> Don't eat the baby. Don't eat the baby!